quartz. The quartz. I don't know. That's what I have. I haven't changed anything. I, okay. I don't know. Is that weird? No. That's weird. Okay. Uh, let's no? try it the other way. Anyway. That means that's better. All I don't right. know. I mean, the first one is stronger. Your face I says think. it all. You don't even have to say anything. I didn't think my face was saying anything. Your face was saying everything. The purpose of rehearsal is that we are in agreement as to our approach of the music in each moment. Because we do trade off similar material and we want to make sure it's cohesive. Then there are obviously more uh, technical things like ensemble and making sure things are really lined up and synced up. The first rehearsal usually makes me more nervous than the actual concert does. Yeah. Um, often because you just kind of want to get a good start and uh, and since we don't play concertos all the time, you know, it's uh, we've been waiting for a while to uh, to play this particular piece. Let's try that one more time with right notes. Okay. It's optional. I don't know if I'm self-aware enough to know what the dynamic is between us. I don't know. I think it's pretty convivial, at least on my part. We yeah. make fun of each other a lot. Yeah, it's, uh, we've had a great time performing all kinds of uh, different ensembles. It's been a lot of fun being on stage where we can kind of laugh at each other or <laughs> at ourselves, at, like making mistakes and whatever um, happens. So it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun to just be on stage with uh, Susie. It's great. I, no, I always love that. that. Oh. I can hear every note. Um, I, I think Am I'm I quicker. Here? No, I'm quicker, I think. Oh, really? I think I'm quicker, but I'm probably rushing, so. Wow. Let's try it one more You're time. You're rushed, though. That's weird. Yeah, that's that's good. Is that better? Yeah, I think so. I mean, this is actually a great piece. It's because it's obviously a concerto, but it really embraces the chamber music aspect of us collaborating with each other as well as the orchestra and the conductor. And I love playing chamber music. I find it's one of the greatest joys uh, in my life. And so, and the actual music itself is so um, beautiful and so much depth and in the feeling and the profundity of it. Sometimes we play in unison, we play at the same time in octaves, or then we take turns and I play four notes, Susie plays four notes. So sometimes you, I play more notes. Than four? Than four. Sometimes, sometimes I, have to I play... play two notes and Susie plays 16. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go from... Yeah. Wiggle, wiggle, The, the roles are definitely where occasionally we come together and seem like we're in complete agreement. And then at other times it feels like we, there's like this battle going on between us and we're just trying to make a point, kind of like saying the same thing, but right. just like needing to be the person saying it or playing it. Yeah, the last person yeah. saying it, yeah. My chord. Or, no, it's or, my chord! No. <laughs> it's mine! I guess the worst thing that, that could happen is that when two solo or, or, or like a multi-soloist piece and the soloists are not agreeing with, the, with each other on stage and then nobody really has a chance to go with anything. So we're kind of trying to like figure out or uh, find our disagreements.
everybody comes in. And then we don't resolve. We hope to see you on June 1st and 2nd at Orchestra Hall.